Yo, 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 yo. Happy Sunday, folks. This is Canal in the House with Tim, the sales guy, Kevin, the emailer, and Julie Uni here. We are uh, having a family dinner, and uh, I'm trying to quiet them down so that I can make this video. Uh, let's look at the markets here real quick. Uh, consolidation day in the markets. Consolidation week. Uh, S&P down about 0.3%, so uh, nothing to really worry about. But basically, we were just in a little bit of a tight range for most of the week. But as you can see, uh, the bulls were firmly in control. Uh, we didn't even have really any instances except on Thursday where we thought the market might dip. And uh, the buyers came right back, and that's kind of been what's happening. And one of the things that I judge to kind of see really where the market can go is, you know, I'm always looking at the intraday action to see, you know, who's really in control of the market. And you can see that when the market's been dipping, the bulls have really stepped up to the plate and they kind of bring the market back. So even though it's a flat week, um, right, the market hasn't even dipped yet. We're, we're right near highs again. And so I consider that bullish. Now, if we do start dipping, uh, we've got a lot of support underneath, right? So, you know, keep these kind of these marks under your uh, on your watch, right? 20 DMA, uh, S&P 1425, our old breakout spot. You know, these should act as uh, heavy support lines, and I'll use that as kind of my guide for uh, long-term support. Uh, Short-term support, you know, keep an eye on this 1450 level, right? We break below this. Uh, we might drop back down this 20-day moving air, so we could have, you know, a couple, you know, little dippy down days. But uh, otherwise, you know, we're still in, you know, still in a little bit of rocket mode, and we're still seeing a lot of spec money flying around in individual stocks. So, uh, you know, stay aggressive as long as we can. Let's take a look at the watch list. Uh, Eagly, this is a shipper. Uh, just looking for a quick range break. You can see we've kind of been tapping this four level. If we can get over that, we might have a, a, a nice scalp to about 450 or so. Uh, Arna, I like to spar on Arna. We had this break above the 50-day moving average. We've been resting right on it, so that kind of gives us an easy spot to get out. Um, so it looks like it's a pretty good spot you know, for a, more of a swing type of trade, but looks good. Uh, CDTI, testing that 200-day moving average twice uh, before we've popped and failed, right? So if we can pop and stay above this area, uh, I think that this one could be a runner. These bottom plays have been going, and this is one of the few that's still relatively close. CVO, it just started It just started coming out of range. So, you know, you really need to put this on watch. It's about a couple pennies already past its breakout spot, but looks pretty good. Uh, I definitely keep this on watch for potential ads uh, in this coming week as uh, it's probably got a date with, you know, maybe $3, if not the 200-day moving average. Uh, RSH. Looking for a pop over three to get this bad boy going. Uh, MTG, uh, looking really nice here. We added a couple around 171, 172 for a swing. Um, my stop is, I believe, like 165-ish, right under this support here. And uh, I, I really like this one still. Uh, I'm going to be holding this for a bit and, you know, see if this thing can break. Uh, 180 is the real spot where it needs to go before it can move. INVN. Uh, nice, nice action the last couple days. Let's see if we can kind of pop out of this above this $14 mark. CBN, CBM testing highs here. Needs a break over highs to get going. Uh, Yelp just sitting around, but it looks like to me it's gearing up for a run. The real question is going to be, you know, when do we hit this thing? But uh, definitely something to keep on your watch. Sync starting to round about a little bit. Uh, solid break over eight should get it going. For a potential run to nine dollars, Zynga. I probably won't trade this. I got bad luck. I've been Zynga so many times in my life, but right, you can see we're just basing right above this three. It really needs a break or this 50-day moving average to get going. But a really nice look here. Saz, look for a break over Friday's high. This one is a, a nice, powerful-looking setup here. A lot of volume accumulation the last few days. Uh, SSH, beautiful flag here. Uh, just needs a pop. Look for potentially a break over Friday's high. If not, it's going to need volume. Friday I was going to take it, but just didn't have enough volume to get me interested. Uh, SVU, uh, 250, 251 should be good. Uh, EXH, look for, looking for a breakout here. Uh, Groupon, still looking nice. On watch for potential day trades. Disco, flag pattern, needs to come out of range. RDN. RDN is looking uh, fairly good here as a flag pattern. Uh, you know, this goes with MTG, so I probably won't add this.